to um, live stream. Second week in a row now, we managed to turn off. Hopefully, you guys can uh, can comment on this. Yeah, hey, we've got our first comment in from Nate Fingerboards who says he. I think I was on about my scorp, which is this dandy little tool here. You could use for shaping the section of chair in which you place your derriere. Um, this is a bit of Douglas for it, which is not a fantastic tool for using this kind of tool. It's not a great wood for using this kind of tool. But still gives us a good idea of how it's supposed to work. Another tool I um, restored just today. But I didn't even have to restore it. It came um, from a friend of mine. It's not actually my tool. I'm only borrowing it off him. He bought it over in England for cheap, but imagine. Um, it's, uh, it's this fella here. It's a triplane, but I was using it as a jointing plane. New old stock, so it's, it's an old plane, but it was never ever once used. I mean, check out how beautiful this condition is. Um, so yeah, I'm using it there to, um, to joint a few planks of Douglas fir. I'll show you there. We've got um, some strips of mahogany, which is fairly precious wood. I don't want to use too much of it now, but we'll take, a, take another strip for you. Just so you guys can see what all the fuss is about. Hi Owen, is it true that the bus in London is free? That is true, it's actually a very common misconception that you have to pay for the bus in Dublin. Or the Lewis, I mean. Yeah, there's uh, there's uh, there's machines that, that look for money, but those are defunct. Don't worry about paying those. You can get the Lewis for free and nothing bad will happen to you. Oh. Carcinogenic, but gorgeous at the same time. Look at that. Oh. Man, do you know what we should do now? While this plane is razor sharp, we'll slowly disengage the iron until um until we take a really, really wispy little shaving. Okay, great. So we're not taking a shaving now. We'll um the wedges in and we just slowly tap the back of our iron to move the move it a small bit in every time we hit it. For anyone who has never done this before, I highly, highly recommend buying a wooden hand plane and spending the hours required to learn how to tune them. It's incredibly rewarding. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have spent more time learning how to tune them. Maybe a bit quicker. But we have Glenn in, in the chat again. How am I getting on, me buddy? I am flying at Glenn just after um, Big Paddy's Day weekend, so. It's our first live stream ever since now. Fairly unproductive last two days, but I have a TV show filming here tomorrow, so I'm gonna go home now, get some good rest, and uh, hopefully it'll go well tomorrow. We have another super chat in from Mr. Jimmy the Reach. Top of the evening to me. Well, thank you very much. Top of the evening to you. Another way to um, gauge how high this is to look down the sole. Okay, it's a nice wispy shaving, but it's, it's one-sided, so we need to tap it the other way. Ooh, it's quite a nice shaving, isn't it? I used to have a um, micrometer, a thing for measuring like to the 10,000th of an inch. Maybe there's some engineers in the chat who can tell me whether I'm saying it right. Um, the, and we were able to get shavings that were less than a thousandth of an inch one time, but I don't know where I'm after putting it. Uh, Lucy's flying it. She's probably at home now, in out of the rain, sound asleep. Actually, Lucy's lost her bark. I don't know if it's just because of old age or what, but she doesn't bark with the same grit anymore. It's like she's got a, a hoarse throat and she's like, Arr! instead of, Arr! do you know what I mean? It's actually very annoying to be listening to. Oh, God. It's 
been a while now since I chewed an old hand plane. I forgot how much fun it was. So satisfying, therapeutic. What did I do for St. Patrick's Day? I woke up, I went to Mass, something I hadn't done in a while. Um, I'm not very religious, I don't believe in God, but I, I like the community aspect of kind of going to Mass, you know, it's a good chance to stop for half an hour and reflect on your week while you're surrounded by the community. Um, but yeah, so I started with Mass um, and then... Um, Went straight on to indulge in the sin of gluttony and uh, went drinking in Cork City in a friend's house. Then I went to the pub and then went back to a friend's house. That was my St. Patrick's Day. Got up the next morning then with a head like a ton of bricks. Um, went for a walk up an old, um, an old railway bridge called the Viaduct in West Cork. Um, you can kind of walk across it but it was a bit windy so we didn't go too far out onto it out of fear of falling. And then uh, further along the now abandoned railway line, there's an old tunnel, but it's since been blocked up and uh, they built a house on one end of it, which is really annoying because it'll never be reopened as a greenway, I suppose, or a cycling path there. It'll never again be opened as a railway line. Worst thing we ever did in this country was get rid of our railways. <laughs> so yeah, that was my, um, that was my Paddy's day. Oh yeah, we did get in the tunnel eventually, but we had to go around the long way. The landowner on the other side wouldn't let us in, so we had to do a bit of trespassing. Usually now I'd ask for ask for forgiveness instead of permission, but you know, maybe I'm getting getting a bit of sense as I get older. You're doing your A-levels and you're wondering if I did woodworking in school. If so, what project did I do? I'm thinking to make mobile surfboard rack gc's make a hedgehog house um i never did it in school i wish i had um but no i never did but I, a lot of lads ask me who are doing the leave insert which is like the irish a levels they ask me what they should do and i always tell them make yourselves a sugan chair which is a traditional irish chair you know the examiners will you know go mad for a bit of irish heritage and tradition in a woodworking project so there's always a few bonus points for that um so i would um, England has a lot of um, traditional chairs and pieces of furniture. Maybe you could do like a Windsor chair or something like that. What are my plans for that mahogany? I'm going to make a small little bow saw to replace my coping saw is the plan. Unless you come up with a better idea. God knows how long that window was open for. Hey Luke, what's the crack? How are you getting on? Oh, thank you so much. Um, this is Luke from North Wales at the Berlingo. Um, a few weeks ago, a few months ago at this stage, I went uh, traveling to Wales to help a friend with, um, with an old restoration project he's doing on an old house. And um, so I landed in the port, was it Hollyhead? Uh, yeah, Dublin to Hollyhead on the ferry. And I had no planned transport. So I stuck out my thumb thinking that, you know, Wales would be the same as Ireland and I'd get picked up by someone in about a few minutes and I'd be on my way but uh, it didn't go so well I was stuck there for half an hour with my thumb sticking out and a smile on my face but to no avail until this gentleman who's here in the chat now I haven't seen or heard from him since Luke uh, drove along in his Berlingo and uh, dropped me all the way to my destination that's gas what a beautiful country how are you getting on are you still working in the fish shop I'll see if I can see any of your comment there. Ah, Luke, you'll have to send me an email or something. It'd be great to, to hear how you're getting on. Look at him. Good old Berlingo. Very clean Berlingo. I don't think I've ever seen it in that good condition. There was nothing in the back of it. Only just clean, empty, sweeped out van. Well, I hope you're doing well, Luke. But do send me an email. Good to hear from you. Still losing my pencils. I actually, um, when I filmed that video about getting um, the uh, getting a hundred pencils as a solution to my pencil problem, I um, I went to a shop and I went to buy the fifty pencils. And by chance, the lad at the till 
it was his parents' business, so he said you could just have the pencils for free because he recognized the, uh, me from TikTok. And um, I was like, brilliant, that's great. I actually met him on St. Patrick's Day and I told him of a plan to do a thousand pencils and he thought it was great, but we both weren't in, you know, fit for signing any contracts there and then. So we'll have to see how we get on. Has Luke, you're doing well. Brilliant. Good to hear. Um, this is the first mallet I ever made, and I still use it. It's very, very beaten up, but still rock solid. Um, I have it stamped Own Raiden 2020. I probably should uh, preserve it so that when I've been working. Um, a very long time I can show my first mallet compared to my most recent mallet, but kind of like I don't like having things hanging up on walls when they could be used, you know Trying to hunt down a Stanley number eight any tips cattle are you, are you in England or Ireland? I actually think I have a, a number eight. I'd probably sell member special um don't quote me on it. I should know whether or not I have one or two number eights. I'm 70% sure I have two number eights. And if I have the second one, you can buy it off me. Just send me an email. If you live over in America, you'd be wasting your time. You get them way cheaper over there. But if you're in England or Ireland, you can probably sort you out. Someone really wants me to read a bedtime story. I, I give it a go. If you guys can give me a story to read, I'll read it. Any suggestions? How long have I been woodworking for? It's another handy thing about my beaten up mallet. Own rear 2020. So I, I suppose I've been woodworking four years now. Pros and cons of being a carpenter. I'm not a carpenter. I'm a woodworker. I suppose I'd have to get qualifications to say I'm a, a carpenter. Do I speak Gaelic? I don't, but I, I downloaded Duolingo and I let it sit on my phone for a year and then I started using it and uh, yeah, 20, 30 day streak of um, spending half an hour learning Irish. So I'll get back to you in a year and see do I have um, have some good, good Irish. Uh, what I've noticed now is a lot of people my own age are starting to speak Irish even on nights out and stuff. And uh, even then I can't join in and I feel really bad that I don't know my native language. So. That's, that's getting done. What's my cup of tea? is the full length of the of the board and that like silk What do I think of the plumbing and concrete field? I'm not a fan of concrete buildings. Um, I think they're kind of ugly and homogenous, but they, I understand that we need them for modern building. Um, yeah, plumbing, you'll always have work. There'll never be a time where someone doesn't need a plumber. Um, recession proof, whereas concrete is kind of, you know, can come and go with the economy. But you can come and, with any trade, you can travel all over the world. You'll always be in demand. I don't know. I, I I don't have a trade. I don't know what you're asking me for. Where did I get the window frames I built? I built them. Where did I get the glass? Some place up in um up near the airport business park in Cork. Am I pint of plane? Yeah, it's a name I'm. Yeah, it's a name I don't use too much anymore. But 
paint the plane. That's uh, there's a fellow on Facebook going by Pint of Plane. He's probably the most relevant Pint of Plane at the minute. He's uh, stealing all my content and driving on with it. So no, if you are talking to Pint of Plane on Facebook, he's not me. Have I seen Roy Keane about Cork? I haven't. I don't know. Does he uh, does he walk about too much? I'd imagine. Being that famous would be very difficult to go about your day-to-day -day life. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Roy Keane, I don't know, he, on television he comes across as a scary man. I, I, think, um, I think people would be hesitant to, to come up to him. So maybe, maybe he's all right. Where did I put the window frames I built? There, um, you have to be following the Instagram if you want to be seeing these things. The story gets posted on. Um, they're up in a, in another shed owned by my landlord, just over the other side of the field. Has uh, safety gear hindered or annoyed me? Uh, I suppose safety gear is, is annoying, but you know it's uh, it's probably a necessary thing. Like I kind of wear safety glasses 50% of the time when I should be wearing it 100% of the time. But um, a few weeks ago I was using the table saw and um, I had the goggles on at that point. Um, but a small piece of wood got a bit of kick kickback and launched full speed. A small little piece of wood, only about the size of my thumb maybe, but full on speed right into my eye. And it probably would have hurt a bit, but it was a bit of an eye opener for me. Did I hunt the Facebook copycat yet? Nope, Facebook. What a disgraceful company that your man is still getting away with stealing my content. <laughs> An eye opener is right. Very good. Do I wear a mask? Wood long ain't fixable. No, there was a, a time where I was working with a lot of teak and I wasn't using a mask, but um, hopefully I didn't get wood long. And uh, I do mostly green woodworking now. Like that's the wonderful thing about using a hand plane. No little fine dust to go around the place. Uh, Charles Jordan with the super chat. Thank you very much. Which is better, double or single-sided axes? I've actually never used a double-sided axe. I do have a double-sided axe head, but I haven't put a handle on that yet. Thank you for reminding me. Most exotic wood I've worked with, mahogany. I have a bit of AK acacia outside, but I don't really like acacia. Can I make a carpenter's toolbox? I think I will at some point. Um, I pretty much have every tool I need. Um, any other tool I might is I want, not a need for what I need to do. Um, so I suppose yeah, I'll make a, a toolbox and fill it with all the tools I have amassed. Oh, thank you, Chloe. I just see that there. There is a pint of plane on YouTube. Is that me? No, this is the only YouTube channel I have on YouTube. And if you're watching this live stream on anything other than youtube.com forward slash own word and get out of it, report it. Oh, do I mew? I actually don't know how to. I don't think I can. It hurts when I try it. I saw it on TikTok one time. I was like, oh, that's why my, uh, my face is, didn't grow properly. Until you like... Clench your jaw together <laughs> and then press your tongue against the bridge of your mouth. I think that's how you do. <laughs> there you go. I'm mute for you. Connors a tattoo. Tommy Gama. There we go. First, stepping our toe into a bit of Irish.
Do we get to see some live woodwork connection? I'll, um, yeah, I suppose I've been standing there mewing for so long and I lost touch with reality. <laughs> My brother showed up earlier at like, um, about, I'd say half ten, and, uh, no car ever pulls into this yard past five o'clock, especially not at half ten. And at the time I didn't know it was my brother, so I heard the car come down the driveway and the door open and shut. And I got, I got a bit of a fright. I was like, who the hell is this person? I was like, hello? Ready to grab an axe or something. Um, and then it was just my, my brother was like, mm. and I was like, oh, hello. He wanted to come up and see the place. He was playing a football match not too far away. That's a, that's a cool example I can show you. I don't know if it'll show up, but oh, it actually will kind of show up on camera. The first time I did this piece of planing, I was going with the grain and it, we gave ourselves a nice shiny polished finish because the blade was slicing. Imagine you're rubbing a dog's hair the way it wants to be rubbed. Whereas the other time when I went back, I was going against the grain. So we get left this kind of rough finish. Imagine you're rubbing a dog going against the way the hairs naturally want to go. So we'll put that back. Correct our plane. Oh, super chat in from Zash. Love that hat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, with a hat this good, I, 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 there's no point. I won't bother showing you guys my hair. Like, you'd only be disappointed, you know. How do I find which way the grain is going? Brilliant, there's a good question. It's actually very visible on this piece of mahogany as well, so I'll show you there now once I've had this cup of tea. Ah. Now, if you look very closely at this um, piece of mahogany, the lighting isn't doing me too many favors here. But you can see, yeah, see all these individual kind of like wood grains, the kind of slightly darker lines. You can see they're going up and they're shooting out this side of the board. So when we want our, our plane iron to kind of scoop up along them, when we scoop against them, they kind of get torn up. So there you go. That's how you look at the grain. Um, it can be deceiving. You know, it might look like you're going with the grain sometimes when you're not. Um, but yet you just kind of got to do it by trial and error. Or did you use sandpaper? Sand doesn't care whether it's going with or against the grain. Uh, how's the, the hewing going? I was only involved for two days there, doing a bit of filming. Um, I'd imagine they'll finish this week and I'll be joining them for a month next, next month up in Wicklow to uh, do all the joinery. So I'm looking forward to cracking out all the hand tools. Uh, if you want to learn this kind of stuff and you're in England, you're much better off. There's a lot more traditional crafts over there than there are here for whatever the reason. More people, I suppose. If I were to go to college for carpentry, what should I know before? You'd probably be as well off to... It depends what kind of stuff you're doing. If you're looking to... Or where you are. I don't know. Um, if you're into a specific type of carpentry, like green woodworking or timber framing you're as well to go into find someone who's doing work on a big scale that you really like and try work for them for cheap or free if you have to if it's really good stuff interesting and then uh, you'll probably learn a lot more by being practical than you would in any college if you, especially if you're not one for theory and sitting down and taking notes and all that Project I'm most proud of. Still, two years on, is probably the Curragh. 
I really need to outdo myself. Do I make most of my own tools? Almost none of them. I think that saw I made the other day was probably uh, the first traditional tool I made in a long while. And I've never actually seen how that cuts um, processed timber. I've only been using it for foraging, like, um, what do you call it? Hot hazel logs and stuff. Oh, there we are, turned around. This fella here. Hey, Glenn, again. How do I turn this thing around? There we go. Glenn says, so just got stopped. Uh, where's Ash gone to? And what happened with the TV fella you were going to take with? What's up there? Where's Ash gone? Oh, Ash. Oh, very sad story about Ash. She, uh, herself and another dog. Ash's is a pup that was put in a shed over the other side of the yard there not too long ago. Um, owned by the landlord here. And she was, oh, she was the cutest little pudding. A bit hyper now, but very cute um, and on uh, the first day that they got left out to run around the fields you know frolic around the place and have a good time they decided to have a little bit too much fun with um, with some cows that were minding their own business basically they were terrorizing local cows um, so that day I was down here in the shed and some understandably upset farmer she uh, rocked on and was like um, are you responsible for them dogs? And straight away I threw Mikey, the young lad, who uh, who does a bit of stone pointing around here under the bus. I was like, no him. Uh, and then 10 minutes later, Mikey comes in. He's like, oh, can you uh, drive up to this field? We need to go fetching the dogs. And so we did, and we brought them back. But I think, uh, I think they got in a bit of trouble now. So they had to be uh, t taken away from the place. So I think they're in the, the landlord's other house. It's kind of quiet and sad and lonely out here without them, but what can you do? Um, with the TV fella I was going to take. Um, yeah, yeah, there was a TV crew here not so long ago, and there'll be a TV crew here tomorrow for various things. I had to read the contract today, and they were like, don't mention anything about this. I was like, so maybe I'll shut up. Super chat in from... Luke Slater, what was my best thought of the day? I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll never come to me again. I didn't write it down. Very seldom have thoughts. Definitely don't have one a day anyway. tension it works fairly good and trick is to get it into tension without snapping the the string well yeah this is gonna go here you can hear it starting to fail I should really have stronger juice or something but you really want that speed this time around. Have I ever heard of the school Waldorf? I haven't. Oh, it's past midnight, lads. I need to go to bed.